AI technology has come a very long way over the last few years, and even though artificial intelligence has been around for a while now, what really kicked off the whole global discussion about it was the introduction of ChatGPT, which was launched on November 30th, 2022. And then, of course, there were all the other AI software products that were getting a lot of audience attention as well, those being text-to-image generation tools like Stable Diffusion, Dolly, and Midjourney, all of which were able to create some pretty astounding AI art. And with this rapid rise in AI technology, countless millionaires are going to be made by everyday people who know what to invest in. So in this video, I'd like to dive into the most insane breakthrough in AI video technology and some assets that you'll want to keep a close eye on if you want to participate in the booming AI economy we're about to experience. Quite simply, the landscape of AI video technology has undergone a transformation of hyperbole, pushing the bounds of realism. You see, just last year, it was pretty easy to tell the difference between an AI-generated video and a real one. However, today, I'd say that's not so much the case anymore because of Sora. Sora is an AI video generation software that was developed by OpenAI. Basically, it allows you to enter a text prompt similar to ChatGPT, and then it renders out an insanely realistic video, like a stylish woman walking down the streets of Tokyo. And even though the faces look incredibly lifelike, to be honest, if you look close enough, some parts definitely start to look a little out of place. And while this uncanniness in things like faces, candles, and some hands are still prevalent, there's no denying that these kinds of videos look way better than the AI videos from last year. So, while this technology is exciting, it's definitely not perfect. As another example that Sora seems to have trouble with is with groups and clusters of things, like these wolf pups for instance. And of course, there are some AI prompts that seem to do better than others, like this one right here that looks like a legit movie trailer of a 30 year old man in a salt desert shot on 35mm film. I mean, just look at this. It looks like a scene out of Interstellar or something. Absolutely incredible. And this one in particular doesn't even look uncanny to me. So with Sora's advanced AI algorithms, over time, there's no doubt that Sora will be able to adapt and learn from its vast amounts of data, continually refining its output to deliver increasingly realistic outputs. Which is both terrifying and exciting. However, I'm leaning more on the exciting side, just because I think this technology is so cool and has a ton of use cases, which I'm about to get into. And I'm sure a lot of you can see the terrifying implications that this technology has, especially when it comes to elections and misinformation. However, I don't think the leaders in OpenAI are dumb, as it would be incredibly irresponsible to release technology like this to the public just months before the next United States presidential election. So for now, these videos have a watermark in the lower right side of them to signify that they're 100% AI generated. However, the ironic part here is that there are literally AI programs out there that can erase watermarks in videos, let alone how easy it would be for someone to just crop out the watermark. So while there's no official word yet when Sora will be released to everyone, there is some speculation that it could still get into the hands of certain people at some point in 2024. So we'll just have to see how likely that is, as I have a feeling if it's not late 2024, it'll most likely be at some point in 2025. Whatever the future looks like for AI videos though, regardless of all the safeguards and new laws that'll have to be created for these technologies, it's ultimately going to be up to normal people like you and me to do our due diligence in a future where it's going to be nearly impossible to tell the difference between real videos and AI generated ones. However, with all that being said, there are actually a lot of interesting use cases for this technology that of course are bound to replace a lot of jobs in the future, like creating virtual avatars for gaming for instance. But more importantly, what does the future of animation film look like when anyone can just write a prompt and generate a Pixar style animation video? Why hire actors when you can generate your own hyper-realistic movie? Also, something I could personally see myself using Sora for would be for stock video footage. I mean, why would a company pay money to hire a guy with a drone to film off the coast when it could be done with an AI prompt in a matter of minutes? These are all relevant questions. And while these AI videos aren't able to generate audio and music on their own, I think it's only going to be a matter of time before they can. I mean, if we can go from looking like this to this in only a year, I wouldn't be surprised if OpenAI was already working on audio generation with Sora. Yet, I think it's essential to approach this topic with some nuance and perspective. It's true that while some jobs may become obsolete in the face of AI automation, new opportunities will also inevitably rise. 
As demand for AI content grows, so too will the need for skilled professionals to oversee, manage, and innovate within this rapidly evolving landscape. And for the AI trainers, data scientists, content strategists, and creative directors, the future is incredibly bright with possibilities for those willing to adopt and embrace the change. Moreover, when it comes to actually using Sora, it's still not clear what the pricing model for Sora will be, but similar to ChatGPT, I'd be willing to bet that there'll be a subscription model to use their text-to-video service every month. It's also possible that Sora might even release some sort of light version of their app to the public that could be used for free or a smaller fee as well. But being that this kind of video generation takes a massive amount of GPU processing power, generating these kinds of AI videos will most likely be pricey. So, with all that being said, if you want to invest in OpenAI directly, you unfortunately can't. However, there is still a way to invest in them, in a sense. You see, Microsoft has currently invested $11 billion into OpenAI, meaning that it owns 49% of the company and is entitled to up to 75% of their profits. So, if you believe in OpenAI and what they're doing, invest in Microsoft stock. It's really as simple as that. Other companies that'll stand to benefit are of course NVIDIA, the world's most profitable GPU company, Google, who's developing their own AI tools, and of course, let's not forget about AI crypto tokens, which I know some of you are probably rolling your eyes at the sound of crypto, but I'm being serious here. While the use cases for a lot of smaller cap crypto coins are questionable, that isn't the point here. The point isn't to invest in these coins, the point is to simply trade these coins, selling once they've ran up 5, 10, or even 30 times their initial value, which a lot of these coins have already done. Because remember, right now, a lot of these coins are entirely narrative based. So if you want to ride the momentum with artificial intelligence, I think crypto tokens are a good way to do that. But please keep in mind that crypto is still extremely risky, and only put money in that you're willing to lose. Personally though, some of the coins I've been looking at are Render, which is a token tied to decentralized cloud computing. So you can rent GPUs from all over the world, meaning that if you have a GPU of your own, you can digitally rent it out to people who would want to use it for processing power, for say, AI video generation. And keeping a pulse on the large crypto influencers is another good way to make money. You see, for the people out there who follow these influencers, like Alex Becker, he's pumping and putting in large sums of money into tokens like PAL, which is essentially just an AI web bot, and OXO, which is an AI smart contract auditor. And yeah, just look at what these coins have done over the last few months. So, as AI technology increases, I believe a lot of coins and companies that are tied to the AI market will also stand to benefit. Some companies, though, may not be as obvious as others. For instance, I'm currently invested in a quantum computing company that I believe is going to have massive success in the future that will be directly tied to the success of AI technologies. So check out this video right here if you want to learn more about this relatively unknown company that I'm invested in, and why I believe that they stand to be extremely successful in the future. Thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you next time.